See that? It's recording. It's yes, recording. It's mm -hmm. See, it's recording, but then you're going to hit the uh, stop. So if you ah. Look, record. Yeah. Did you rewind? See a light on. It's recording right now. Then I'm gonna wind it back. Okay. Get on that phone. Get that phone. <laughs> All right, now let me. Uh, you know, yeah. I want to say that first of all, I done lost a lot. I done been to state prison four times. So each and every one of y'all, that whatever the mind can conceive, we can achieve. Now if you believe that, clap then. <clears throat> They tell me that you can't do it. Because here yeah, I was on crack sleeping on the ground, eating out the garbage can for many years. I done been there, man. I done been to hell and back, man. I done been shot in my chest. I done jumped out the four-story window, getting away from the police. That's what it did to me. <clears throat> Those of y'all who want to make it. Those of y'all who want to stay recovered. You in the right place. Now who believe you're in the right place right here? I do. <laughs> Come on, because it's just like an umbrella. This is our protection. There's one thing I know though. That if you leave and think you know it all and think you got it all, that's when you're going to fall. I done been there and done that. I done tried everything. I done tried to get five months clean and go back out there, and they ate me up. <coughs> you got to be sure about it. It's more than about absence. It's more than about that. It's about recovery. It's about getting the tools under your belt. Now, if you want to live, if you want to live, it should be the most important thing on the agenda. Am I right? Am I right? That's right. Recovery is before my wife. Recovery is before my grandchildren. Recovery is before watching the Three Stooges. I don't care about none of it. If I don't have my recovery, I'm not going to have none of it. Now, if you, if, you, if you get that, then you can make it happen. You can stay recovered. How I know this? I done been through some battles, y'all. Not only... Am I telling you, I am going to show you. <clears throat> this is my baby brother smoking crack and it busts his heart wide open. He was only 27. Not only am I telling you, I'm showing you. So those who got reservations, those who don't believe what I'm saying, Go back out there. And it ain't promise you're going to get back, huh? It ain't promise you're going to get back. And if you're doing something, and how they doing down here in Texas, <coughs> about them signs don't mess with Texas? No, they're not playing. They will put you so far into that feature with a slingshot. By the time you get out, it's going to be flying cars. You don't believe me? Play Russian roulette then. I'm cool today. I can do this on the recovery. I'm cool. I can walk that walk. And you know what? Just when you get complacent, bam, the addict going to hit you. And life going to show up like it showed up for me. It's my baby brother, man. One thing I learned, though, in my recovery, that you can bend, but you don't have to break. Huh? You're right. You don't have to medicate yourself because life's going to show up, huh? And a real man going to step up to the plate. I wasn't no real man. Running all the time when 
family members dying. Let me go, let me go smoke some crack. Let me go do some alcohol. Oh, it's gonna be alright. Well, it wasn't alright. Because the problem was still there. And it got worse. I just buried my oldest daughter last year. She died from crack and alcohol. I'm on bend, but I ain't gonna break. That's my baby, y'all. And if you don't believe me, go back out there. Misery loves coming. If you don't believe me, if you think that you can do it by yourself, if you think that the addict ain't trying to kill you, go back out there. I ain't been there and done that. I almost lost my life many times, man. Stealing and robbing, people putting guns to my head and finally shot me in my chest with a bullet. <laughs> it ain't no joke. You in the right place. Man, I had to put away my daughter, man. And I couldn't even save her. I couldn't even save this beautiful girl, man. This is her boyfriend. She didn't want to live no more. I got her a place to live. I helped her with an apartment. I got her food. I got her clean clothes. I did all that. I came to check on her every day. But she let go. She didn't want to live. If you want to live, you're going to do what you need to do. Am I right? You're right. You're right. Well, fuck then. Only am I telling you, I'm showing you. Being in my addiction, and those of you who are daddies out there, y'all, y'all daddies, I got something for you too. Granddaddies, granddaddies, don't all of that is all in there. <coughs> These are two of my children, Dante. And Antoinette. While I was out there smoking crack, drinking alcohol, my, my daughter's 14 and she killed a man. My son Dante been to the penitentiary. Man, I'm not only telling you, I'm showing you. Now, if you don't think that's a domino effect, go back out there and be selfish then. But I want you to know today that you're going to leave a legacy. You're going to leave one, am I right? Whether it be good or bad. And today I choose to get up and stand up and say, you know what? I didn't start well, but I'm going to finish well. Huh? My daughter that died, this is what she left behind, man. Gentlemen. What I'm talking about, man, young man, is being leaders. It's being leaders, man, and saying, you know what? I'm not hanging around y'all no more. If you're doing the wrong thing, I'm going to go this way. I'm not going that way. That's a real man, ain't that right? All that on hanging on the corners and selling that little crack, one thing I know, you ain't going to be on the lifestyles of the rich and famous. You might be able to buy some socks, some underwears, but it ain't cool out there. But not only that, you fight a losing battle. Police watching you, snitches is watching you. You done already lost. Am I right, y'all? Right. You don't believe me? Go back out there. Sure I done been there, man. And I know some of these gentlemen right here done been there. Yeah. And we ought to try to help each other. We ought to be the wing beneath these other people's wings. <laughs> each and every one of y'all ought to tell each other every day, keep it up, sir. I want you to live. You understand? Yeah. <clears throat> Here's my brother and sister. My other brother and sister. Mitchell is almost dead. Drinking himself to death. He lives in Stockton, California, y'all. Not only am I telling you, I am showing you. Huh? Let's see, let's see. 
That's my brother. He almost dead. Well, I got something else, though. See, my baby sister, she just died three years ago. Drank herself to death. Not only am I telling you, I am showing you. So if, if, if you got a new plan, you need to let me know about it. Let me know the work. What work? I wish I could smoke crack and be productive. Be serious. Man, y'all need to know, man, that you're in the right place. And one thing I learned, you're not going to be able to do it by yourself. I'm looking at you and tell you, you can try. I tried, tried, tried to do it by myself. I tried. Every time I run into a brick wall every time. Let me get two days clean. Let me get three days clean. You hang around the barber shop, you're going to get clipped. You got to be shown by it. And today, I'm able to go into the trenches. I got to make up. I don't care how high that crack is. I'm going to choose to go get me a bologna sandwich. We make choices, man. We make choices. Whether they're going to be good or bad, you're going to make one. It's me and my baby right here. This is a miracle right here. I'll tell you why. Cheryl and I were childhood sweethearts. 30 years ago, three decades, I chose to leave San Francisco and go to Hawaii. And she went her way. I didn't see Cheryl until I got cleaned up. Like five years ago, I got in touch with her mom in San Francisco. Her mom gave her my sale. She living in Houston. And she told me, she said, I've never stopped loving you. 30 years, and today we married. Y'all give me a clap for that. <laughs> and yes, I'm going to do the dishes when I go home. <laughs> <laughs> this is my best friend. And not only that, she loves the Lord like I do. And she know what I've been through. But I had to go. I had, sometimes we have to go through our giants in life to get to where we are today. Some people are here to do construction work. Some people are here to work at McDonald's. My job is to inspire. Not only that, me, the been to San Quentin four times, 10 years, six years, four years. Today, I go into the Harris County Jail. <laughs> Miracles can happen. It's up to you. I don't want to hear all of that talking about, well, police is good. You know what, man? I'm going to tell you something, man. I don't want to hear none of that. All them excuses, because this right here, I got two police that fed me when I slept on the ground and came to my wedding. They like brothers to me. When you start to get a new, I died for them and they'll die for me. This is Officer Matt and Officer Andy. And they fed me when I was homeless, smoking crack. Get up, Dale Ray. Get up, Dale Ray. It took me a long time. And they came to my wedding. They did a newspaper article on me. said, from addiction to the altar with police's aid. Man, we got angels, man. But you got to make it happen. You got to do your part. Nothing from nothing leaves nothing. If you ain't going to put in no work, it ain't going to happen. No, it ain't going to happen. You're going to lay there and die, man. And when somebody come along, hey, man, I know you're feeling miserable. Hey, check this out. Here, take this rock right here. Everything will be all right. Misery loves company. So if I'm your friend, am I going to walk up to you and give you some crack if you're in the program? Am I going to walk to you and say, hey, let's drink a cold beer? Man, you need to leave with Stevie Wonder to see that. Stay away from them people, man. If you're trying to get clean, if you're trying to stay clean, man, they're not your friends, family. They not, listen to me, man. They not your friend. <clears throat> a real friend will say, what's your name? Mark Queen Dale say, hey, it's good to see you. <clears throat> man, look at you shining like a new penny. Keep on going. Hey, Marquis, you ever thought about going to college? I got the hookup. Positive stuff. Not all that old hanging around corners. You understand me, man? You got to be a leader, man. Me? I kept on following. 
and blind leading the blind until I fell in the ditch and nobody got us out. The same people I was in the penitentiary with, man, losers, man. <clears throat> I want to win, sir, and I'm winning today. I give everything I got, man, to get here. I give everything I got, man, to come back and tell you that this could be the best day for the rest of your life. Who agree? <laughs> you make up your mind, man. You have to make up your mind. That's the bottom line, man. Hold on. Here's my baby son in Lufkin, Texas. I'm on him every day like a gorilla. You know what he did? A month ago, he broke into the Lufkin foundries, and he already on probation. He broke in and took a microwave and a flashlight just, just, just for his appointment. They gave him eight years. Man, I'm not playing with y'all, man. You need to be out here instead of being in them damn alleys, doing your dirt, smoking crack, drinking alcohol. Time is passing by. But I talked to him, you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make a drink. I've done my part. And I can look in the mirror, and you know what? I can say, well done today. I can say that today if I give all I can, man. But he on the way for eight years in the penitentiary, man. You understand that? Leadership, man. <laughs> Here's a lawyer. Here's a lawyer right here who really believed in me. He saved me from 25 to life. He's like a brother to me, too. I, I, I got some friends that <laughs> count on me. That's because I put the work in. I'm not being shysty. Say, family, once I got off that damn ground, whew, who can I talk to today? I got one day, one day clean. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Man, let me start going to them schools. Let me start talking to them youngsters. Let me start telling them youngsters that gangster lifestyle, it ain't cool. Once I started doing that, man, now they do a documentary on my life. They wrote a book about my life. I'm on the radio. I'm on TV. I give it to the glory of God. I'm not bragging, but I know how great thou art. And look at my baby. God will honor these things, man, but you got to do your part, man. <laughs> Say, man, you know what? Your past does not dictate your future. <laughs> I believe today, whatever mind can conceive, we can achieve. I believe that, man, but you got to put the work in, man. You got to work for it, man. You can't take this lightly. This addiction thing, and it lives in me. Every day it tells me, oh, man, who won't know? Who going to know you taking a blast? You have to talk back to it. I'm going to know. And I know if I, you play a role in your mind. Play a role in your mind. You know, if you take a hit or you go out there, whatever got you here, ain't nobody going to see you. You're going to get all raggy. You're going to get towed up. You're going to go backwards. You're going to be in here again if you ain't in jail. No respect. Nobody going to like you no more. Nobody going to trust you no more. You ain't going to even like you. Play a role. Would you want to go there again? No. That your kids can't trust you? That you grandparents and ain't even been in the grandkids' life? I'm just getting in mind. But I tell you what, I may not be where I want to be, but I'm on my way. I'm making try. I'm making my effort. And with that, God will help me. Amen? Amen. Amen. My heart right here. <clears throat> my mom died. Seven years ago, and she almost like really died in my arms. She drank herself to death. Man, I share with y'all, man, about addiction. If you don't believe me, if you got another plan, tell Dale Ray, I want to know. <clears throat> it ain't nothing but death and destruction, man. I don't want to hear all that about it. Man, I've been using so long. Now, you know what? You can teach a dog new tricks. And I believe that. That's where I'm at today. I smoked crack for 20 years. Huh? 
If you want to, if you want to continue to lose, if you want to continue to keep going on a vicious cycle, if you want to be a hamster on a damn treadmill, ain't nothing like an old fool. Now you can believe that. Take, I don't care if you don't like me or not, cover your face, listen to the message. I got something to tell you. That's what I had to do, man. People try to talk to me, man. I said, man, I don't want to hear all that, man. But after a while, I got tired. I got tired of going to penitentiary, man. I got tired of getting bologna sandwiches, crackers, and cheese with a little light little thing on chain from me. I got tired. I don't know about you. I want a life. Y'all want a light? Yeah. You got to make it happen. Clap for yourself if you want a damn light. Clap for yourself if you want a light. If you want to make it happen, it's up to you. Man, you young, man. God bless you, man. You know what, man? I got five sons. And each and every one of them done been to penitentiary. All that slick stuff, man. You could be a nice gentleman. You could get new attitude. I know the youngsters on one today, but it's up to you to step up and show the leadership and say, you know what? It's been fun. I got to run. See? Got my books. I'm going to college because I might want to be a doctor. I might want to be a senator. I just might want to be a lawyer. It ain't never too late, man. You hear me, man? Whatever you in here for, man, you young, man, just start making up your mind, man. You understand, man? I talk to you like my son, man. You understand? Go back to school, man. Quit hanging on them damn, whatever you doing, knock it off. It ain't working, is it? Because you here, right? You been in jail? <clears throat> I got love for you, though. Let this be the best day for the rest of your life, man. You make the change. You start stepping up and say, you know what? I'm not hanging around y'all no more. I don't care what y'all say about me. I'm going to be so no bobo. And when you go get your education, they still going to be selling them little rocks. They still going to be selling that little weed. It's you that's going to be evolving. Am I right? You can do anything you want to do, man. You need to make up your mind, man. But nothing from nothing leaves nothing. You understand? Giving moms and dads attitudes and all that. I ain't saying you do it, but your group. You understand? I lost their damn mind. Do you agree? <laughs> Am I right? That thing done fell off a damn hot dog. <laughs> it ain't cool. It ain't cool, man. It ain't cool, man. It's about to respect. Respect yourself, man. And if you respect your parents, make a change, youngster. And you know what? If ain't nobody told you today, Del Ray love you. Like mine, man. Make up your mind. Whatever it takes, okay? Don't be no follower, man. Be a leader, man. It's easy to get out there. Man, I'm gonna start hanging around my homeboy, pants dragging them, be tripping and falling all over. Pull your pants up, man, and go in there and go like this. Shake, shake my hand, bro. Go in there and shake hands and say, hey, I'm applying for this job. Can't have it because of past record. Well, I know when God opened the door, nobody can close it. Keep going. Amen. It's about getting it right, bro. Huh? It's about making up our own minds, man. Ain't nothing like an old fool, am I right? I got tired. And if you ain't tired of being tired, keep doing what you're doing. And one day life gonna just gonna be gone. A twinkling of a damn eye. And what would you going to leave behind, man? That scared me, man. What am I going to leave behind? That my grandkids going to say, oh, man, my grandfather, he was nothing but a crackhead. And he just died in the damn alley. He never took us no damn where. He ain't took us to a fire station. You think that shit's funny? It ain't funny to me, man. We should be heroes, man. You can't be a hero in the world, be a hero in the neighborhood. If not in the neighborhood, in your home. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, no, I ain't no could be. I am right. I am. I'm a hero in my home. I'm a hero in the neighborhood. Ain't no could be. I don't have to scratch my head about nothing. You know what, man? I'm cool with that crack. I'm cool if you don't agree with me. 
I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because you know what? My life today is on a mission, and I will give my life for you. Because if we don't stand for something, we'll fall for every day. And like I said, I done lost a lot. But today, I have broken the chains. I have broken the chains of addiction. I done lost over 20 relatives since 1980. When do we wake up, man? Man, I just left San Francisco, man. You see people just ripping old people, 60, 70 years old, ripping and getting them peels like this, ripping and ripping. Man, on, it's, it's pity up. That's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> TL, no. I already know. That's my homeboy right there. See? see that? Then I see you at that donor place on the corner. <laughs> <laughs> he know. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, you know the 7th and Market? Yep. Okay, hold on. You know the check cash around that corner? Right, right. Walk down by the methadone uh, in that alley by the liquor store. Okay, uh, that's not right around the corner from uh, that big church uh, 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 on Ellis. Yeah, come on down to Market and Seven. You know Carl Jr. over there. Carl you know Carl Jr. Jr. Yeah, Across the street, you see that check cashing? <laughs> Wait, you see that check cashing, right? You know the liquor store right next to the second hand store, the thrift store. Plaza in two years. Huh? Plaza right there. Crossover this way, by, by the theater. Huh? By the theater. Come on around this way. <laughs> Come around. <laughs> <laughs> it's changed, honey. Once you get there, it's changed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, yeah. that's where I slept on that ground in the gutter for 10, 11 years, man. Buy a sewer. Buy a heater. If you think I'm playing, y'all know how it go. You already know how it go. You know what's going to happen. Man, I got morals today. I don't want nobody to ever catch me like that eating out of the damn garbage, man. But I couldn't get up, man. I needed help. And I know it's powerful and kind, man. Many times I tried to get up off that crack, man. I was like this, man. I'm going to be all right today. Man, give me a drink. I couldn't even open the window. Are you serious? I ain't never going back there. And people say, you know what? You can't say never. Yeah, I could. I could say never. Dale Ray could look right at you and say, I ain't never smoking no more crack. And ain't nobody going to lace my drink because I don't drink after nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool with that, man. Man, you just, look here, man. Those who, was all, who know about that crack, when I took a hit of crack and started jumping out of my clothes and swinging that car, what? And running by a cable car and singing Elvis Presley something. Mm. That's not normal. It's not normal for me to take a hit of crack while I left Texas and walk from Lufkin all the way to Livingston with no shoes on. That's not normal, sir, is it? Because I, I ain't Superman. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> It's not normal, man. It's not normal, man, for you to run around at 2, 3 in the morning. We ought to be home uh, with the wife or, or even watching a late movie with Vincent Price or something. <laughs> right? If you want change, it begins with you. Inside, man! I done met so many people out there. Damn, Dale Ray, I'm shining today. I got one week clean. Man, look at my new shoes. You know what? You just a dressed up garbage can. You got to take care of the inside. That's what I had to learn to do. I had to take care of the inside and the outside to take care of itself. Amen? Right. I'm cool with that, man. You have to want to live, man. The attic.
that you got to put in the work. I might be a little man, but you know what, though, man? I got a big heart. I ain't playing a lot of money. I'm going to leave y'all my cards. Call me. I'll be on you like a gorilla. <laughs> if you want some help. I'm not playing, man. Me able to go into the county jails and talk to 30, 40,000 inmates. People who are doing capital murder. Don't tell me what God can do. I'm talking to gang members. I take guns. That's what I do. Because if you don't stand for something, you'll fall on everything. Yes, I do, sir. I take guns from gang members and put them in college and do jobs. That's what I do. I don't know what you want to do. Whatever you do, you need to give back. You need to make this count, man. Don't be just sitting up here. Hey, man, I wonder what my girl doing. If you have to wonder what she's doing, you don't need to be with her. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. So don't worry about what she's doing. So when you get out there, she's going to say, oh, I'm tired of him being in there. I'm going to drop that zero and get a hero. And you know what you tell her? I'm going to already drop you. Because my recovery is first. Because I know that God will give me his best. <clears throat> you know, you say you're going to stand by me, but it ain't been that way at all. When the going gets rough, mm. my honey has stood with me, and I'm blessed, y'all. I'm blessed to find Cheryl again. After 30 years, y'all, that I shared with her what I had went through since the last time I saw her when I was only 17. I'm 56 now. I done been shot. I done been stabbed. <clears throat> I done been to penitentiary four times. I know God is real. I know God saved me for a reason. Mm -hmm. huh? She's my lover. She's my wife. She's my soulmate. She's my best friend. And every day at 4.30 in the morning, that when we open our eyes, thank you, God. I mean, who can I touch today, God? I'm on a serious mission today. I'm on a mission, man. I'm recruiting, man. I'm recruiting so when you leave here, you can go out there and say, hey, look what I've been through. I don't want to go there. Don't go through what I went through. Don't fall in the ditch like I did. It's about the leadership, huh? <clears throat> it's about not being selfish, man. It's about giving back, man. Of course, it's a selfish program, but still, you can give back. Because people are going to see you when you get out. Man, look at him. He's shining like a new penny. And people want to know why he's shining. And you're going to tell them. You're going to keep it real. Man, I done been through hell. That pipe or the needles or the drain done beat me up. It TKO'd me. Tell the truth, man. My life's up. I'm telling tell the truth what it did to me. It beat me down. It TKO'd me. I ain't never going there again. Never will I be in that hell again like that. To eat out of garbage, people walking by me and pissing by me, man, going all in my pockets, man, when I couldn't even get up to defend myself, walking down the streets, man, with $3 in my damn hand and raised my head and eight or nine youngsters hit me in my jaw and knocked me out. I was only like 90 pounds. Man, it's, it's crazy out there, man. If you choose to go back out there, go ahead. Man, I'm not playing wrestling with that no more. I'm going to make this be the best part of my damn life. Today. Now, you know a shortcut that they already know. There is none. There is no shortcut. I done tried them all, man. You can change. You can change your old behavior. You can get rid of all the old habits. Just work on it one day at a time. Who like court mandate? I mean, who y'all court mandate? Okay, you ain't got to raise your hand. That's what I'm talking about. It ain't cool having them be your dad. No, is it cool, man? No, it ain't cool. No, it damn sure ain't. Boy, they gonna tell you when to come, they tell you when to go. So you know what, though? Let's look at the big picture. Let's get our life back. <clears throat> I stayed on parole for 12 years, man. What I have to do? Man, I'm 
I'm cool with this. Let me start getting a new attitude. Come on, parole officer. Come on, you need to check me out. Let me do my urine test. Let me do it. And he became my best friend. Had me going over to his office, man, and telling everybody, I got 200 people.